hello everyone you're yeah, welcome to another video so in today's video we are going to look at appending queries in power bi so in the last video i talked about merge queries and underneath the merge queries option you have the append queries so what then is append queries? Um, append queries is a tool in Power BI that allows you to add information to an existing table. So it is similar to the merge queries, just that while the merge queries combine columns or add columns, the append queries add rows. So appending queries allow you to combine or stack two tables, assuming they share the same column assuming they share the same and exact column structure and data types so that is the most important criteria that must be observed before you can append queries so in today's video i want to append adventure work sales 2017 together with adventure work sales 2016 and 2015 so and this appending will be valid because the three tables they have the same table structures so in order to do that i will go to my new source and then text csv so you can see this is 2015 open it up you can okay 2016 okay so this first things first i want to give it a common name so i'll reduce this to aw sales 2016 okay so we successfully changed the name from adventure work sales 2016 to aw sales 2016 now i'll come to this table and then i'll do the same thing here okay now we can inspect the two all the tables so if we go through all the columns you can see this is one two three four five six seven eight okay so there are eight columns in the AW sales 2016 table. You can also confirm this towards the down left corner, eight columns. 2015, let's see also eight columns. And then 2017, let's see, you can see you have 18 columns. And let's try to remove some of the columns. Okay, so we are left with its columns. So I'll come to my own tab and I'll click on append queries. So we have two options available here. And just as it is with the merge query, when you append queries as new, you create an entire new table which is having all the appended rows together. And then when you click on the append queries, you add all the similar rows into an existing table so i'll go for the second option which is to append queries as new so this dialog box pops up and we have two options as well so to append you can see to concatenate rows from two tables into a single table and then this one says to concatenate rows from three or more tables into a single table so we because we are dealing with more than two tables we we'll click this second option and as you can see, the table to append has already been added to this box. So the next thing I want to do is to select the rest of the tables to this box by the right hand side. So I click on add and then I select 2016 or add. So the, the tables are together in one place and I'll click OK. So we have successfully added three tables together. And as you can see, this is a um, table name, which is called append one. 
of course you can change that into a new name let's say aw table or let's say w sales 2015 to 2017. so we have been able to append the three tables together and also we changed the name from append one to aw sales 2015 to 2017. now for us to confirm that this table is an appended table if you come to the other dates you click on load more so this date started from the 1st of january 2015 and then it run through 2016 down to 2017 so this confirms that this table is an appended table now we have been able to append three tables into one new table so the flip side of this is that if let's say we come to aw sales 2015 and we want to delete this table so if i delete you can see the error message it says the query aw sales 2015 cannot be deleted because it is being referenced by another query so you can see that now this is because this new aw sales 2015 to 2017 table is using aw sales 2015 table as part of its data structure okay and that is one negative side of appending tables in power bi but then there is a way around it and that is using the folder option when you want to get data okay and uh, i'm going to talk about using the folder option in my next video Bye for now.